Congrats. Um, I wish I had worn a dress. <laughs> uh, you, you, okay. you look great. Um, I'm not showing anything, okay. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, and don't look. Um, but, um, <laughs> um, but, okay, so because Damien Chazelle said he wanted to, to uh, get that kind of magical romanticism, but in a very, he, he used the word mundane, a very mundane Los Angeles setting to show that, that you know, it, it's possible to have this magic in, 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 in uh, your, your normal life. Is, was that a like, difficult balance, or is it like, okay, some scenes we go with the romanticism, some scenes we go with mundane? I never really approached it as mundane. I don't know that he ever used that word with me. We talked about it being real and grounded in reality. Mundane sort of has a bit of a negative connotation for me, and reality doesn't. I don't know why. So anyway, yeah. I just sort of approached it from reality with an aspect of hyper-realism and some romantic fantasy as well. I mean, he actually did use the word mundane with me, which kind of surprised me because it's, it's such a, a, an affectionate look at Los Angeles. I think God looks at anything but mundane. But I guess, I, I think, yeah. I see what he means. Yeah. It's the everyday. Mundane doesn't necessarily have negative connotations. I don't know why I think of it that no, way. So. Yeah, no, I, th I think it kind of does. But also, I mean, he was talking about how much you it worked with the actors, and that it's especially difficult. You, you always want an actor to move comfortably in your costumes, but when you're dancing, that's at a whole other level of, of, of comfort. Um, but but he, he said that you, you're, you set up uh, next to the dance rehearsal room. You had a costume. Uh, yeah. It was, a, it was great. I remember my first meeting with um, Damien, we, I talked about what a great advantage it could be to have everybody, all departments, working in the same vicinity. And then they ended up finding a location in kind of not a very nice place in Los Angeles, but it was fine. And they, we just, there were not that many possibilities and we needed dying, which means you need water, which means there was only one area of the building that we could locate ourselves in and it happened to be right next door to the dance and for me being able to design a cost uh, design the costumes for a film that was a musical was a dream and then to be able I mean I was I loved being next to the dance studio because I could peek out and sometimes it wasn't always Ryan and Emma and sometimes it was and it was they worked every day on rehearsal and we were there every day and it was conducive to having as many fittings as we needed to be and you know they could just pop in right after a dance rehearsal or right before and uh, but also just to hear the music and you know I, I can't tell you how we did have a I mean I know it wasn't as perfect as it is in the movie but there was a lot of music that we could hear and be inspired by from day one of my prep so it was a joy to be right outside of the studio that they were doing all the dance rehearsals in.